Hello there, and welcome to my basic guide for RimWorld Anomaly. In this video, I'm going to explain to you how you can use the DLC's contents and how to play with them and how to progress through the new wonderful things that this DLC provides without spoiling too much. I really do my best here to keep it all as technical and basic as possible, so you can just tailor your own scenario around the new stuff. And there's a lot of new stuff and it is awesome. So first off, Anomaly can be played with any background. There is a new background called the Anomaly, which lets you start with stuff that makes it easier to interact with the DLC content right from the get-go. And you also start with a ghoul. I'm gonna explain that in a hot minute. The other backgrounds can all interact with Anomaly content as well. The monolith, which triggers the whole chain of events, is present on any map. So. You can do that wherever you want. It's just like the Mechanitor Beacon or the Anima Tree. They are around on any scenario, so you have the options to go for it. This background is special as you will find lots of goodies which let you work with that stuff. That's why we're going to pick it. So I'm going to set up a real quick random game and I'll meet you on the map. And here we are in action. So this one is the Fallen Monolith. This item will start the whole chain of events for the anomaly content. That also means before you press the investigate button, nothing will happen regarding the anomaly content. You have a new research panel, but as you see here, it is hidden until you are down the road of the anomaly content. There's also a new tab here for buildings, which is also locked until you interact with these. The background here starts with a couple of things worth talking about. First of all, you, <coughs> you start with a holding platform. This is very important because the whole idea of RimWorld Anomaly is that you're going to activate the monolith that starts the whole event chain and then spooky stuff happens to you. So once you have done that, you can keep focusing the anomaly and then spooky stuff happens. And from that point on, the storyteller has a wide array of anomaly events that he can toss at you. Every time we do this kind of interaction with the monolith, we also attract a new bad weather effect called the Great Paul. This is uh, lasting for a while. And now we have the void monolith unlocked. The Void Monolith generates a new quest which beckons you to upgrade it. So upgrading this thing requires you to discover new anomaly content. So here we have now the thing going on for itself and you have now also the Entity Codex unlocked. As you see here, there's Basic Entities, Advanced Entities and Ultimate Entities. So our ghoul already counts as one of these entities. We also have unlocked now the Anomaly Research tab. The fun part is that there are a lot of unknown uh, thingies here, which will be only uncovered if you encounter the corresponding anomaly to it. So here's how this goes. The research of anomaly is done with other research means than your regular research. As you see here, the numbers are wildly different. So. You also see the square. This is basic anomaly research and the two squares are advanced anomaly research. Your void monolith can be used for basic research of void stuff. I uh, here study interval to every two days and knowledge gained from study to basic. Here your research value of your colonist comes into play and basically you can research anomaly stuff at the, monolith, at the monolith from the get-go. You can also research anomaly stuff out of books. There are some books that allow you to generate specific research points. So for example, this book here lets us learn the void provocation technology. Also, it's inducing mental breaks, but eh, well, that's just a side effect. So to find more things to research anomalous stuff at, you will require the Anomaly tab. 
at the beginning you can only build a holding spot which will basically yeah it is just the same as a sleeping spot just holding down anomalies the next tier in that regard is the holding platform which is the basically the uh, the next bigger gun which allows you to pin down anomalies even harder a anomaly that has been strapped down onto one of these things can then be researched for more anomaly research points. And that's how you research your new projects. The new technologies there are all aimed to around basically two things. For one, attracting more anomalous things. And for another thing, working with the anomaly things. So for example, bioferrite is a new material involving lots of the anomaly things and bioferrite is something that you can use then for all manner of cool things and ghouls are made with that stuff there's also the tech tree of entity containment and you can already see that this tech tree will help you to catch your anomaly creatures better that also means before you get started with all this, I highly recommend you to build up a rudimentary base of sorts. Because the moment you have started this event chain, strange things will happen. And these strange things will tend to eat your face off. Or not. There's a variety of different things that you will encounter in this list. And I really don't want to spoil you anything. They all can be interacted with and have their own threats and scenario behind that and they will encounter you will encounter them on your map sooner or later i can only say the proximity de detector that you start with with this uh, scenario you better have it set up and powered up before you get this whole scenario started that's the only little advice that i want to give you um, in this regard because you know i i think that spoilers suck this is really a a, a, a DLC which is made to be experienced, especially for, for the very first few runs, are something very, very special. So, from that point on, you will continue encountering the basic things. These are not that much game-changing and quite easy to handle. You will encounter ghouls from time to time and other creatures, and as soon as you have discovered enough of them, you can advance the Void Monolith. This will unlock a new layer of new entities. This stuff is made to mess you up. The point here is the Monolith is also a new endgame and, uh, well, victory condition like the spaceship and uh, all the other things. To finish the storyline you must research all manner of different uh, entities and it is enough to just encounter them and have them in the uh, codex, but you can decide to capture and study all of these to your own liking. Many anomalies, like I already mentioned, unlock new technologies specific to them, and the void ritualism is one part that you also can use to do all manner of crazy things, but it is your propulsion engine of sorts, and yeah like i said entity containment is there to keep those things under control that's pretty much all you need to know from to begin with there is uh, a couple of materials that are unique here there's uh, architect shards so these here are ingredient for all manner of powerful things and there's bioferrite and all manner of different things that you can then do out of these but like i said i don't want to spoiler too much i think with this knowledge you are now armed to go out and encounter the very many nasty things one last thing if you ever get uh, if I, I don't know if you can lose the monolith in any way i haven't played it enough yet myself but i did skim through the events here there is a quest event which will spawn a new monolith so all in all you can you can have this adventure whenever you want to but i highly recommend you to have some safety precautions enabled before you go there and have some containment cells and the rest is just 
your own little anomaly experience. One last few were a few last words about the ghouls because they are standard package. They are excellent fighters that feel no pain. That means they'll go down when they die and they regenerate automatically. The downside about them is they will go aggressive and hostile when they go too hungry. They can be fed with corpses and raw meat of any sort, so keep them alive and well fed and you have your super soldier ghouls. They can learn fighting but nothing else and they are really really good at what they do. Just make sure that they have enough meat available. So that's that. Not much more to say. I hope you find this helpful. I really don't want to go any deeper into the secrets of Anomaly. I'll hand over spoiler heavier videos in the future. Let me know in the comment section what you think I might have missed or just uh, have a nice chat there. Leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed and consider subscribing of course. In the description box you'll find plenty of links to my Discord, to my Twitch where I do stream quite regularly and of course there's support links, Patreon, Paypal, buy me a coffee channel membership, all the stuff. Big thanks to all the supporters, and a big thanks to you still hanging out here at the very end of the video. Have fun with the anomalies.